Hey everyone, it's Boom! I'm back with another stuff. Today is Tuesday, July 20th, and it's the afternoon time, roughly 4 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well. And I've got a video for you guys. Of course, you guys already know that. Let's go. Um, first of all, I just want to let you guys know, I haven't really taken down any notes of any prices. Um, so there might be some movers today. I'm just not going to call them out today. There hasn't been anything crazy. I can promise you that, at least nothing that I've noticed. Um, I've been making moves on the app. And that's why I haven't been paying attention very much. Um, I just want you guys to know, I officially have 12. I'm down to 12 collectibles, but that's because I'm consolidating. But what I will tell you guys is that today, I was able to buy a Carmine Infantino Robin for my collection. This is a piece I'm planning on holding, which is why I have no problem telling you guys this. Um, the only reason I would consider selling it is if I was planning on getting a better cereal, because I don't have a great cereal. Um, in order to get it, I sold my Death, I sold my Neon Labbit, um, sold something else. Oh yeah, I sold my F.A. Harley Quinn, um, but it's an F.A. Robin, and I already have a ton of other Harley Quinn, so this is kind of a toss-up, but I figured it was worthwhile. I already, I still have the F.A. Um, Joker, which I'm not going to get rid of for now, but just want to let you guys know that that's what's been going on in the life of Butt. I went ahead and made some moves and got myself a Carmine Infantino. Um, with that being said, let's pop over to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VV NFTs, you're going to want to come to the spreadsheet, column I. It's a column with the header 7 and 18. Uh, man, it's the column where the numbers are slightly larger. We've also got recent price movement data, percentage gain from VV data. We've got data about how many NFTs are available on the app. We've also got a set prices page, how much each set is worth. We've also got a low mintage NFTs page that organizes the NFTs in order of rarity. Um, very cool page, in my opinion. We've also got a couple portfolio calculators on here. I swear there was four on here earlier. Now there's three. I'll figure it out someday. Uh, but go ahead and check all that stuff out if you guys want. It's pretty cool. All right, with that being said, let's pop over the Reddits, guys. First of all, we got our homie Big Mac Zach saying that this NFT is slept on. He's talking about the Ecto-1 Interactive, the Ultra Rare. He's saying it's slept on. You're probably right. You're probably right. Um, it's probably slept on. Oh, heavens, really quick. Yeah, I forgot to mention, guys. Really quick. Um, I do have a pizza for when we get done with the video. Just want you guys to know about that. Um, yeah, I'm a big pizza fan. Um, so let's pop back over to Reddit. Next. We got our homie Cerebro Vintage saying, Hi, don't hide, Stay Puft just wants some hugs. And we got Stay Puft Marshmallow Man terrorizing all the townsfolk, scaring people, um, scaring the villagers to hide behind mailboxes and all that. Shout out to our homie Cerebro Vintage. Next, we got G May 59 Call, Call of Cthulhu drop. I just read this drop is a Comic-Con exclusive. This means it will only be available to the ones attending the event? Question mark. Thanks in advance. It looks like, I think you can actually get this drop. I think it's just a normal drop. Um, so I don't think you have to attend the event. Next, we got Two's Balls. Thoughts on how big these Cthulhu's will be? Um, I don't know. They're rare, so they'll be sought after. They're artistic, so they'll be sought after. Um, I like the Necronomicon, personally. I like the idea of the Necronomicon, so I don't know. I think they'll be pretty popular, though. I think they'll be popular. Next... We got this post about uh, Mondo X VV here, Mondo Plus VV here. So Mondo is apparently a poster company. And they make these really sick posters. I really love these Star Wars ones. I really wish we were getting these, to be fair. Uh, but with that being said, um, we do have this snippet here. In the debut series of NFTs from Mondo, VV will feature 2D artworks from an iconic from iconic movies such as Back to the Future and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure as con exclusives, as con exclusives. So there should be some uh, poster NFTs coming out during Comic-Con, so that should be pretty exciting. Um, Maurice, more information. Okay, next we got a post from our homie Dude-68 saying, Wish you all an amazing Comic-Con experience. We got our homie here hanging out with the old ghost trap, of course. Let's get that ghost trap going. There we go. There's the Slimer. 
Mm-hmm. Slurp that Slimer up. Yep, yep, yep. This is kind of like a broken down building, or at least entryway here, so it's kind of extra spooky. Shout out to our homie Dude-68. Next, we got Kurazemi. This is one of my homies. Saying, what's everyone's thoughts on the Seeker Rare Ultraman 2D art being the first Marvel on NFT on Vivi? Um, I don't really know. I've always been kind of on the fence about the Seeker Rare poster. I always, I feel like it was overvalued for a while. Now I'm not so sure. I don't really know. I mean, it seems like it's probably a pretty fair value. Right now it should go up, though, obviously. Um, once we get more eyes on the app. I, I don't really know, man. What do I know? I'm just a rando. Next, we've got Omi's price. Omi trading at 0 0.003105. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your dad. And nothing in this video is financial advice. All right, everybody. That's all I really got for you guys today. Nice, quick video. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Um, don't forget to drop a sub and drop a like on this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Have you guys been making any big time moves like me with the Carmine Infantino? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, of course. I'll catch you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow morning. Bucks, go Bucks, go. Bucks and six. Catch you later. Peace.